someone, Empath, if you're sitting here watching this video now, it's highly likely that you on the other side of dealing with the devil that you dealt with, the narcissist, the dusty weirdo. And to be quite frank, with what they've done to you, whether it was the devaluation, the smear campaign, discarding you or abusing you so much that you had to cut them off, either either, you made it through the storm. And I want you to know the narcissist never anticipated you to be growing in strength, courage, resilience, and to be where you are now. So I want you to be so proud of yourself for where you are now. You literally made it through hell. They dumped so much of a weight load on you. They dumped so much drama on you. They dumped so much pain and misery upon you. And I know it wasn't easy. It wasn't a walk in the park. I know it wasn't. I'm speaking from experience. But you made it through. And trust me, like, I know you might still be in, feel like you're in the fog a bit. You might still be in the fog. But you've, you've been through the worst of it. Trust me. You know what I mean? I remember someone said to me, it could be a lot worse, you know? And I, at the time when I heard that comment, I thought, what do you mean it could be a lot worse? Like, that doesn't really help me. But it was a true statement. It was a true statement, you know? It was a true statement. You made it through the storm. You shouldered it. You shouldered that pain. And you got through. And I swear the narcissist thought they left you for dead. Please press the like and subscribe button. Help your brother right. It will take two seconds of your time. Thank you. The narcissist thought they left you for dead. The narcissist tried to inflict so much pain into your life. That they wanted to make you suicidal. They wanted you to give you suicidal thoughts. They wanted to make you feel so contained and trapped. That your only escape was suicide. And for all of you, you know, we, we, we've lost so many chosen ones that have been intertangled with narcissists. We've lost chosen ones in psych wards. We've lost chosen ones that are in prison right now. And, you know, especially because of reactive abuse, you know, the narcissist is very good at reactive abuse. You lot should look into reactive abuse because a lot of us have been victim to this. Um, you know, it's basically... Where the narcissist abuses you and in your reaction, they paint that as themselves as a victim gauged upon your reaction. So you get in trouble for the reaction you do rather than the thing you are reacting over, even though the thing that you were reacting over was more serious than your reaction. And they do this so well that literally people have ended up in jail or psych wards and etc etc but i just want to bring this to your attention you've made it through you have got through the pain yeah and i know you might be lonely right now i know you might be having still a hard time it might still be tough but i promise you you know there's sunshine through that hurricane you know you've weathered the storm yeah you've made it through the storm you've made it through the worst of it and as long as you're utilising, door slamming and bolting and welding it shut and not letting that narcissist back into your life, you've had the final discard. You've won. You know, we always have the final discard. The moment that a chosen one really door slams and bolts and welds it shut, it's game over. There's no way a, there's no way a narcissist can get back in our lives. We've tolerated enough bullshit. We've put up with enough abuse and... We will not stomach another second of that torment from the narcissist. And the narcissist often runs off scared. You know. It's funny, you see. The narcissist... A lot of the times when a narcissist discards is because they, they saw a discard coming from you. They saw you 
and realised something about you from before you realised it about yourself. They realised you was going to cut them off from you before you even realised you was going to cut them off. They're so insecure. They've got such low self-esteem. And they are good at reading body language. And there were certain body language cues that you gave that signified the end of the relationship. And they more or less tried to beat you to the punch. That's what a lot of the times you've got to realise that when you've seen the unmasking of the narcissist, you've seen the unmasking, you've seen them, they've cut you off or they pushed you too far. They've oftentimes gauged your decision making. They basically thought, you know what, this person's going to cut me off. I need to get out quick. So then they unmask themselves or God unmasked them. Divine intervention makes them not be able to contain it no more, like a floating ship along the ocean. And the narcissist is desperately trying to plug the holes in the bottom of the deck. But still, with all their effort of trying to plug the holes, water continues to seep through. That's basically what starts to happen towards the end. The narcissist's face falls apart. Their mask falls apart, so should I say. You know, they become a desperate, desperate cry for attention and... They often, this is when we see the worst of them, you know, and it's, it's not down to us. It's not down to them. It's one thing you've got to realize. It's down to God and the universe who was sitting there patiently watching us being abused. And finally, God or the universe said no more. So he knew that we could stomach this, this storm that we're going to go through. I know it was, you know, um, it was a tragedy. It felt like a tragedy at the time. We we went through a lot of turbulence. But, you know, we even out again. And that's the thing. They never thought you'd make it to this point. They never thought... It. When, you was, when you were side by side with the narcissist, they never thought you had it in you. They thought, right, if I show... If I, if I, if I turn nasty, they'll never make it through. But you have done. You're sitting here. You're listening to this video. You've made it through the worst of it. As long as you now know. That that person. Is not capable of the love that you deserve. In your life. That person is not capable of the loyalty that you need in your life. That person is not capable of the support. And not able to supply the provisions that you need in your life from a divine counterpart, from a companion, from a soulmate. And you know that these lot were a counterfeit soulmate sent by the enemy to try and turn you, take you off the path. As long as you know that and you're not willing to let them back in. Some of us have made the mistake and let them back in again. Some of us have. But don't worry. Just get back on the grind. Get back on the horse. Just get back on it. And just pick, carry on from where you started. I know that they're very manipulative and sometimes they can worm their way back in. But as long as you've realised it now, it's about now, where you're at now, right this second, where you're at now, you've made it through. So, begin the process if you haven't already. For those that have let them back in once again, begin the process of the door slam, bolt, world shut, and continue on this healing journey. Because this is what it's all about now. It's all about our healing journey. It's all about us getting better. And the narcissist never, ever thought you'd get to this point where you're actually healed from them, where you're actually doing things better in life. Where you're achieving better things. All of this is still going to come. For those that is fresh still. For those that are dealing with fresh wounds. I promise you. It gets brighter. You attract to manifest beautiful things into your life. You attract to manifest. Someone who's deserving of your love. You know. You possibly might meet someone who's been through the same experience as you've been through. You know. Don't worry about nothing. You've made it through the storm. 
and the narcissist can't believe you've done it. <clears throat> As I said at the beginning, <coughs> they thought they left you for dead. And you should be proud that you made it this far. You should be so proud of yourself. So this, this video was just words of encouragement. Don't worry, just keep going on. Continue on your purpose. Continue on your healing journey. And things through time, you learn how to deal with them and it gets easier. I'm not saying time heals, but through time, you learn how to deal with it and it gets easier. So leave those narcissists as something to go by of something that you don't want. You know, leave it as something to govern exactly what you don't want in your life. That's all they're there for, you know. So therefore, when you when you meet new people, or even in the workplace, even friends, you, you see certain characteristics and traits in other areas. You'll realize, hold on, it's that same, same same narcissist again. I don't want none of that, and you cut them away. Trust me, take the blessing from this. This dark cloud has a very big silver lining that we take from it. And it's just about taking the blessing from the bad situation. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to do donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And if you would like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Anyway, I'll be back with another video soon.